So this is where we got to. So this is what we did last week. So what I'm going to do is get my fiction pen again and I'm just going to outline a bit better these rolling hills so I can see where I need to thread paint because we're going to be thread painting over this and that's basically just like free motion quilting if you want to get into free motion quilting this is a really good way of doing it so get these rolling hills in here do this here it was just on the um the field really couldn't quite see so we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and we're going to get the sewing machine all set up oh and we need to prep this as well so we're going to basically just do what we do when we do quilting we're going to do a quilt sandwich for it so this is what a quilt sandwich is you take the top of your quilt and then you have the quilt batten and then the back in so that's all that is I prefer to use a glide thread in my top thread and I always use black I like the look of it you can go with whatever colors you want you can have it green like the grass or you can go ahead and do exactly what I do in my bobbin I will either use the glide or I will use a bobbin thread these here are bobbin threads so I will be using bobbin thread in black and because this is a big cone, I will have to use a, a thread holder and that goes on there like that. This is my sewing machine. It's a Baby Lock Soprano. I'm not paid nor sponsored to create any part of this video. With the stitch lengths, we're not bothered about this because we are free motion quilting and we are moving that fabric about. I have threaded it. I have a 9014 Microtech sewing needle in my sewing machine. I've got a bobbin thread. I've got the glide all threaded into my machine. Three dogs are down. An open toe foot is on for my free motion quilting. So let's get on with it. Okay, I've got my quilting gloves on. I've got my needle in the down position. Well, not quite yet, but it will be. And I'm just going to sew. Now, you don't have to be precise with this. I'm literally going to go over that and generally I will turn this around the other way my little quilt here and I will sew I like to sew this direction and I generally like to go over it three times For the grass section, I'm just going to take it off and then I'm going to reapply my needle down and I'm just going to take them threads off and I'm just going to start in the next area. This is going to be a wall hanging so you're never going to see the back of my quilt.
So I went over to my iron and I pressed out all of the lines that my friction pen made. And now I am going to put this onto a canvas. I picked up a couple of cheap canvases from Winners, not paid or sponsored. And I'm going to use one of these to wrap, attach a quilt to the back of a canvas. I would recommend starting at the top, also using some sort of a heavy duty um, staple gun. And pull the bottom really tight and then wrap that around the top. You're basically going to be like making a present out of your quilt top. I will cut away the bulk because I really don't want that there. Cut in. And also, this is also too much here. So I'm going to cut off some more of this here. When it comes to the corner, I'm going to fold this part in. But you're going to have to watch how much you cut away of this. Because this is going to want to come up and you're going to have to be careful of this. So we're going to have to do a little bit of playing around. To get this just right. So I'm going to do something like this. And then I'm going to staple that down. Just one of your main objects is just keep it pulled nice and tight and make sure that these corners are nicely folded and pulled tight. This is the finished piece. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please consider subscribing. I have over 500 sewing and quilting tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.